The 2022 season in Myrtle Beach was one that will be remembered for years to come. For the first time since 2019, the Pelicans had games in April as their opening day roster that featured 20 returning Pelicans and two of the top six Cubs prospects took the field in Charleston on April 9th. You could tell early that something was brewing in Myrtle Beach when the Pelicans welcomed fans back to the ballpark with three walk-off wins in their first homestand against the Augusta Green Jackets. first day of May and the final game of the series against the Columbia Fireflies, the Pelicans pitching staff did something that had never been done at Pelicans Ballpark before. Got him swinging! Walker Powell, Adam Lasky, and Jake Rindle combined for the third no-hitter in Pelicans history. The pitching dominated the first half of the season with many experienced relievers getting the call up to high A. In the lineup, a star with three letters was introducing himself to Cubs Nation. Pete Crow Armstrong played 38 games with the Pelicans and ended with a batting average of 354. He would finish 2022 as the top rated prospect in the Cubs organization. When PCA was called up, the Pelicans found themselves another star prospect in Kevin Alcantara to take over center field. Alcantara dives and makes an incredible catch. With their star-filled roster, the Pelicans tallied 47 first-half wins, the most in franchise history. The Birds clinched their first playoff berth since 2017 with a win in Canapolis on the final day of the first half. Fresh off their Carolina League South Division first half championship, the Pelicans returned home for red, white, and blue weekend with fireworks on the very first night. James Triantos, another top Cubs prospect, lit up the sky that weekend in front of sellout crowds. Triantos lifts one high, deep to left field. He has done it again. The second half brought many new faces to the Pelicans clubhouse, especially to the pitching staff, but that didn't stop the Birds from creating more special moments, with no hitter number two coming on July 17th against Fayetteville. As the calendar flipped to August, young, fresh talent was brought to the team. It was 18-year-old catcher Moises Ballesteros who made a great first impression on the beach in his very first game. The Pelicans had their fair share of ups and downs in August, but entered the playoffs with a regular season record of 78 and 53, their most wins since 2016. They'd match up with the second half winners and defending league champions, the Charleston River Dogs, in a best of three series. Game one went to Charleston despite Kevin Alcantara going yard. The series came back to Myrtle as the Pelicans faced a win or go home situation. Down 2 0 in the first, 2022 15th round pick Hayden McGeary tied things up with one swing of the bat. Charleston picked up five runs in the top of the fourth and three more in the top of the eighth. But this Pelicans team would not go down without a fight. The 2022 season ended in the first round of the playoffs. The Pelicans finished up with the second best average and third best ERA in the Carolina League. The pitching snap struck out 1,393 batters on the season, the most in franchise history. The 113 home runs hit were the most by a Pelicans team since 2009. As the Pelicans now look to their 25th year in 2023, the magic that happened in the summer of 22 will never be forgotten.